Hi, this is Sharon Lim, my independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I blog at SharonItWithYou.blogspot.com. And I wanted to show you today some fun pinwheel uh, cards that I made. So, we're going to do one of these, and it's a book binding fold also. So, let's get started. These are the pieces that you're going to need. Uh, the card base is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. This uh, DSP is a specialty DSP called Tartan Foils, and it's a six by six uh, square, scored at one and a half all the way around, all four sides. A piece of basic white, three and a half squared, and then a piece of cardstock matching uh, the card. I, this time I use Pebble Path for three and a quarter uh, squared for that. So let's start with, oh, and some ribbon. I measured for 16 inches. So start with the card base, fold it in half, and then fold it this way to create that book binding. Now let's do our pinwheel. Take my scissors, and you're going to cut along Actually, I cut out all the corner squares, and just for fun, we're going to save a couple of them for the inside. Let's see, um, just along those score lines. I can't remember who I watched the video on, but inspired to do this, but I'll include it in the description. All right, save a couple of these, set it aside. So we're going to go ahead and fold along the scores all the way around. And the key to this is just to fold one corner. So depending on where you fold it, the pinwheel is going to have a direction. So you can look at those. Those are two different ones that we did. So um, let's go ahead and... I'm going to fold along the side here, matching the edges here, using my bone folder to make it nice and crisp. And wh however you do it, just keep doing it the same each on each side. So this one on the left, so I'm going to do the same here. And another one here. And you can always leave... Um, I was thinking, put a message in the middle if you like, or a surprise. I haven't decided to do with that. So once you have all four of those things, you're going to fold it, um, I like to say, kind of like a box, like you're, when you're packing. So in one direction, and then the last one you just tuck in. Ta -da! I'm going to flip it over and just burnish those folds a lot better. Then I'm going to use my stamp and seal. I'll put a little T on the top just to remind me how to put the, which side is the top. I'm going to go clockwise around and put it first on the cardstock. And then repeat with a basic white mat. Then center it here. And tie the ribbon. I'll go ahead and do a I think a bow is okay for this one. Um I like to do a knot first, otherwise sometimes the ribbon doesn't stay down. So a knot, double knot, and then go ahead and do my usual ribbon. Even out those tails. And if you don't like, you're going to glue this down, but if you do, if you want to glue down the ribbon, you can always put some glue dots on this side. But I'm just going to go ahead and 
Um, let's do this. And close that. And then let me get a piece of whisper. Oh, sorry, basic white. Give me a second. So don't forget another piece of four by four. Um, and then you're going to take two of your squares and cut them diagonally. I thought this was a cute way of using paper. Otherwise you, well, I end up um, saving the scraps somewhere but never using them. So it's always good to go ahead and use them on the card that you're already doing. Sometimes when you cut like edges off of the DSP, you can always put a, a strip of it on the inside. Um, I like doing the corners here. So just a little different look. Do my round clockwise. T for top. Put that away. And there you go. So let me bring back the other colors here. And then this one. So thanks for letting me share this with you. I thought this was a good uh, technique. And I love the tartan foil, the both sides of it. And stay tuned for some more cards using that. They are online exclusive um, items that you can uh, find in, in that tab when you go online. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, um, and subscribe to this if you want, like uh, my video tutorials. I'll be making more. Thanks for letting me share this with you. Have a great day. Bye.